Hey, what's going on everybody? Dopamine and Balance here, and today we're going to be reviewing the Vapid Peyote Gasser. Dopless. Let's get into it. Okay, so you're going to go ahead and find this vehicle in San Andreas Autos. Go ahead and head on over to Two Door, and it'll be a little bit down here in the right in the middle, coming in at a $805,000. Okay, so let's get to it. Uh, for the brakes, got the sports brakes. Uh, for the engine, obviously, gonna crank that up all the way. For the exhaust, I think I'm gonna go for a side exhaust. I think it's all side exhaust. I could be uh, mistaken, but uh, I think that's gonna be the case. Could go for ceramic. That'd be a bit different if I did that. Uh, but I think what I'm gonna do is go uh, custom side pipes. Yeah, that's like a blend of ceramic and on top. Uh, so. For this for the uh, grill i'm gonna go ahead and go for i'm gonna go open for the grill hold on a second i mean these are nice grills not gonna lie these are actually kind of nice i uh, could go for that could go for this lead uh, lead, lead sled grill oh, i'll go for that and for hood remove the hood uh, i could put on what are the differences with these smooth hood dual filter Okay, I see, I see change there, but secondary hood and then smooth. I uh, don't really understand. Okay, I see, I see. It's not as uh, jagged as these ones right here. Not as jagged. It takes away the... Oh, yeah, there's a centerpiece. It takes that away. Okay, I see now. Well, what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to go ahead and take the entire hood off of this thing. I'm going to make myself a drag build. So that will be the thing I'm going to do. I'm not really seeing too much of a difference here. Short ram pipes, no hood. Interesting. Oh, I'm seeing it now. Okay, it's the actual engine itself. Interesting. Awesome. Well, I'm going to go for the last one there. And for horn, not going to mess with that. Lights, not going to mess with that one to keep it. Uh, they look uh, classic. Yep, they are. Okay, classic lights. I like that. Kind of blends in well. Uh, for the color, definitely going to change the color. Uh, we're going to make ourselves a... Should I go metallic? I think I'm going to go metallic. Uh, metallic frost white or ice white. Frost white, ice white. Frost white, ice white. I think I'm going to go ice white this time. And for secondary color, I'm going to go for a matte red. Yeah. I think a matte red will look pretty tight. Dark red. Red red. I'm going to do a bright red. I'm going to go for a dark red. I just now noticed it. I'm seeing some colors in the matte category that I have not seen in the other categories. That's interesting. Yeah. Definitely a different hue there than uh, some of the... Uh, it makes sense to you guys if you understand. Some of you might understand the uh, hex codes and whatnot, the RGBs of uh, the Social Club website and all that jazz. But yeah, that's a little bit darker than I'm used to. I like it though. It's like not too dark, but light enough. Anyway, for the uh, crew emblem, yeah, I gotta do it, gotta do it. I mean, why not? Why not, right? I got that thing, I made that thing, so why not use it? I'm uh, gonna go, wait, actually, I'm gonna go to the roof, remove the remove the roof, and uh, for the roll cage, I'm going to stuff in a roll cage here. Uh, I really do like, yeah, I don't like the racing seats. They're too thin, and it doesn't make sense with the drag uh, drag seats. There you go. That's why it looks better. It is really dedicated for that. Uh, suspension, I had it down here, but I'm actually going to lower it more, because the more low it is, the more down for us, and that's just great. Uh, transmission, obviously, going to go max that out. Turbo, of course. Uh, it doesn't sound the best with turbo, but then again, uh, I need that speed, you know what I mean? So, going to do that. Uh, definitely probably going to go for a muscle wheel. Going to keep it uh, stock color-wise. And uh, I think what I'm going to go here, what I'm going to go for is going to be classic rod. Going to go classic rod and wheel color. Going to make that bronze, if there is a bronze, or a decent enough color that looks like bronze. A dark earth kind of looks... Bronze, there we go. Okay, bronze is available. Alrighty, and for tires, I can make it custom, but it just doesn't make any sense because then the back wheels aren't custom, so it's kind of kind of weird. Okay, so we're not going to do that. Uh, I did already get a low grip tires for this because obviously this is going to be a drag build. Not going to do any smoke, and that. Oh yeah, that's the only thing that we're missing now is to go through liveries. I'll showcase I'll showcase the liveries for you guys as well as pick one for myself. So, keeping it simple is keeping it simple. So you got a little livery on the back there. Old school gasser. Nice. Does it just say, I think it says 427. <laughs> With my uh, liveries in the way. My sticker. 
Uh, flywheel garage looks pretty dope. I like it. Black top burner also looks pretty cool. And you got Merc. Nice. Uh, what is that cocktail kitty? Oh my god, that's crazy. Junkyard special. A, a drag predator. Oh yeah, look at that. And then Valance Rapid. I see this one on a lot of vehicles. A lot of muscle cars in particular. Classic ones too. Get this uh, one right here. That's a little bit common. I see this a lot. But it is pretty cool. Uh, I'm thinking about going for it. Yeah, thinking about going for it, honestly. It looks so damn good. Yeah. I think I'm gonna do it. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do it. I'm going for it. I am definitely going for it. I changed my mind on the look. And of course, the plate. I'm ready. Okay, so uh, I'm pretty happy with this build. So I'm gonna go ahead and take it on the streets. And okay, let's go ahead and test that rev and hear how it sounds. This Pyote, it sounds really good. This thing is deep, it rumbles. Oh, I love it, I love it. I'm a sucker for it. It's a muscle and it sounds like a hot rod. Uh, obviously, like I said before, I'll say it again, I built this thing as a drag racer, so we're not gonna really be doing no corners. Real, oh, what? That guy had to be running this red Like, What is up with these MP? Uh, barely dodged that guy. Anyway, yeah, you can see this thing barely turns. That was low speed. You don't want to see what this thing does at a high speed or uh, somewhat of a speed. This thing cannot turn. Oh man. But this thing has acceleration and it has top speed. This thing is a monster and it looks like it too. Dang, I just destroyed that guy. Didn't mean to. You just can't turn in this thing. So you're definitely not going to do some circuit races with this. If you think you are, it's fast but it's not that fast and you are counting yourself out with these turns. It, it's like a train, man, on rails. It just, there's not much give to it. But it is so fun. Oh, it's so fun. I've drove this thing before, but, uh, oh, I'm just destroying stuff. It goes so fast, I'm not trying to. It's so fun. Uh, if you want to get a drag vehicle, you want to get this one. I mean, this is great to customize and it looks so good and it sounds so good and it performs so good. But I'm not going to go ahead and end the video there. We're going to go ahead and do ourselves a little casual drag race. So I've got the Pyote up against the... Uh, it's German, I believe. The Frankenstange. So, uh, yeah, you got the Frankenstange versus the Pyote. And uh, uh, don't mind the screen. There's a little bit of a glitch going on right now. I don't know what that's about. Uh, anyway, uh, this thing is smoking the... Uh, it's not really smoking it, but it's giving it a run for its money. Um, so this Frankenstein, I reviewed, oh, kind of messed up there. Well, you basically saw the gist of it. Uh, the Frankenstein is a straight up lie with its stats. It does not perform or handle like it says it will. Uh, so yeah, there's a lot of vehicles that you could put this thing up against. Uh, of course, both have drag tires, but it is definitely a really cool vehicle. Like this thing is just a blast for drag racing and stuff. Uh, yes, yeah, so uh, go ahead and rank it. Well, here's the thing. I'm just, it's so hard to turn in this thing. And these NPCs, get out of the damn way. What the f These NPCs, they're just acting like, ever since Halloween, they just, they're acting a little bit more off than usual. You can see I'm barely making this turn. I'm hitting the curb and stuff, like, this crazy. Oh, oh, just T-bone this guy. Yeah, there's not much, uh, there's not much handling, but, uh, you put this in a straight line, it's going to smoke a lot of competition. I mean, there are vehicles that are way faster than this, of course. Acceleration and top speed, but we're talking about supercars at that point. Like the RSX and whatnot in GTO. Uh, anyway, this vehicle has great customization. Beautiful customization. Uh, it's different from the regular Piote, of course. So, like, if you want a different version of that and better customization, get this one. This is awesome. And it's in San Andreas Autos, so it's no biggie. Uh, great customization, uh, great performance, very unique. Handling is its pretty bad, but you're not going to get this thing to do no circuit races. Uh, if I could go ahead and rank this thing, I'd say I'm going to give this thing a... Man, i got to give it an 8 out of 10. It's just so cool. It's just so cool. I've got to give this thing an 8 out of 10. 
If you liked the video, guys, a like is appreciated, and I will see you next time. Peace.